Hello and welcome. Today is March 5th, 2024, and I'm here to do our daily check-in for a lovely zodiac sign. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and clear our space and energy and get started. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and see who is the lovely sign that I'll read for for today. And let's find out. So we have four signs left in this bowl for the month of March. And um, if you missed uh, your sun sign, sun, moon, Venus rising, um, then you can check uh, the playlist on my my channel. All right, let's see. So for today, we have Libra. So let's go ahead and check into your energy. Barry, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to the person who is connected to the sign of Libra? What is the energy and vibe of the person who is connected to Libra in love in the present moment? Who is the person who is connected to Libras in love? Thank you. Okay, we have here despair in reverse. Also, we have message of concern. And finally, we have a mature woman. And bottom of the deck, we have false person, but it's in reverse. So whoever your person is, okay, I feel like um, they're no longer stressing because the truth prevails. And I feel like uh, they could be receiving some sort of message from uh, another person. Okay, so whoever this mature woman is, I mean, for, for some, this could be like their mother, this could be an older woman that they do respect. This is someone of their past. So there is a message that is being communicated to them from a mature standpoint. Okay, so things are a little bit easier uh, from what I can sense uh, coming from your person. You know, Maybe the truth is, is that, you know, maybe your person checked out, okay? Maybe they were not fully uh, in the present moment um, because, you know, to point the finger at one person is one thing, but, you know, maybe your person is actually really guilty um, that they were not really, um, really fully present within themselves, right? So it feels as if there is a truce. Um, there's a, a sense of maturity, having a mature conversation is what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and see what else, because I really feel like for some, this might be somewhat super sp uh, specific of for someone, but I really feel like this is a mother, mother-in-law figure, okay, who your person is um, connecting with. Let's see. I want to pull more. I'm hearing that because there isn't any really change. Um, 
somebody's mother bailed someone out okay i really feel like it's a mother mother figure um if your person was stressed over a situation i'm hearing okay for some your person had to pay like child support or or like extra something right um for their their children okay let's just say that um your person is divorced and um they had like the in-laws to, to really help out um like bail them out and um so they don't have to leave they don't have to to do whatever okay i feel like that's really super specific for someone but i keep getting a sense that because that there is a mother mother-in-law mother figure um this motherly energy is helping your person out um because if they didn't have this person in their life then i really feel like um there would have been like uh, a radical change in your person's living conditions okay but because of this person um they don't have to stress they don't have to worry okay so this uh mature woman has your person's back okay that that's what i'm feeling so far so let's see what else because i really feel like that could be a thing of what's going on with your person at this time but let's go ahead and check in okay and see what is this person's energy towards you so spirit can you tell me a little bit more about this person's energy when it comes to libra how they currently think how they feel what is it that they want and what is the outcome and spirit what is libra's energy towards this person thank you And if karmic energy wants to show up, please reveal karmic energy. Okay, let's see. Okay, I see here Ace of Wands in reverse. So your person isn't really ready to really push things forward for love. Why? I feel like it's because maybe number one, um, they have baby's mama drama. Number two, there's like child support or this issue with children. Um, but let's see. Um, yeah, we have here justice. This is your card. But I really feel like something was not uh, dealt fairly towards your person. I'm hearing like if they didn't have to pay, if they did not pay whatever that they had to pay, and I feel like this is like a court system, um, then they would have been uh, thrown in jail. Okay, and that's for somebody. And it really seems really specific. Okay, but if your person isn't really dealing with that, I have a sense that um, they're not ready to uh, offer love or relationship because there's something that is happening in their life to where they can't really make that offer. They do want to let go of something that has been weighing them down. And um, okay, so maybe they're not telling this to you. Um, there's a lot that they're keeping hidden, okay, uh, like a secret. And um, I don't feel like it's like, too taboo for you to know but i feel like they're just choosing not to tell you because it's just too much drama at this time and um and that is if you're dealing with the cancer because i am uh, picking up like some water energy for whatever reason really interesting i think we have a pisces new moon or did that already happen i can't life is a blur Regardless of the sign, I feel that your person's intuition may be a little bit off because they're still dealing with the karmic, okay? So there is a karmic energy that is coming through in this channeled message, and um, they definitely want to get out of it, okay? Um, I'm hearing that they, they still have to deal with this person, and I feel very strongly that someone here has a child, okay? And whatever reason, um, that, that's holding your person back from fully, like, breaking free or moving on from a, a situation, and they're not happy. They're not happy because that was a person of their past, and they're still dealing with this person's drama, their BS. Um, and again, I saw the other, uh, the older, uh, mature woman. So I feel very strongly that that's someone's mother or a mother figure, a mother-in-law, okay, who is bailing your person out. So it's like your person baby's mama baby's daddy okay then there is the, the the mother the older one right you know that kind of helps uh like that uh family along the way 
Um, you know, I feel like, you know, they don't want to stress over winning an argument. They're just checked out. Okay. They definitely want to let go of this anxiety that they have. And they realize that they need to just let it go. Okay. So instead of trying to win the fight, it's just better to just be at loss and just move on. Um, because they're tired of like defending themselves. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I feel like whoever this person is, okay, let's just say that there was a karmic and they're constantly having arguments with this karmic person. And, um, you know, both of them, they, they don't get along. Okay. At least that's what I'm hearing and I'm seeing it. Um, there is a child here involved and, um, you know, they're trying to, really keep it pro but i really feel like sometimes i feel like they actually argue in front of this child uh, not that they intentionally do it i feel like it's because um they can't get along um the child actually sees this or senses it okay um at this point i don't feel like you're in the picture is what i'm hearing so they're trying to get out of this conflict okay um you know, and act like things are okay, but they're not. Um, maybe for some, you're sensing that your person is a little bit rude and standoffish, especially if they're a fire sign. And um, maybe uh, for, for some, you guys are here at a distance. Again, there's like this pregnancy, okay? Maybe for some, you're pregnant with this person's child, okay? So uh, not only that they have like baby's mama drama, um, maybe for the two of you, maybe you guys have a child on the way. Um, but that's for, for, you know, obviously someone unique. You know, I'm also getting, cause there's a very heavy set woman here in this, uh, picture, uh, depiction. I feel like, you know, uh, if you're not like, uh, completely like, uh, Barbie body. Okay. Um, that's okay because this person definitely likes the roles. Okay. <laughs> There's something sensual about this. Yeah, so they definitely um, do value fam family. Okay. Um, again, like for some, maybe this person is a little bit aged. Um, and I keep he uh, seeing this baby. So if this isn't about, you know, your person, this could be your person. If they're older, that this is their grandchild that's about to have uh, a baby. Okay. Or maybe this is their child having a baby and they're becoming a, a grandpa or a grandma. Okay. Um, but there's like an expansion of some sort of family. That's why I saw like the, uh, mature woman. Okay. Um, yeah. So they're trying to hold themselves back. Um, and they realize this, that, you know, these things take time. So if you haven't heard from your person, um, what I feel is that just be patient. Everything will happen in divine timing. Your person's trying to balance out their current situation is what I'm getting. Okay. That's why they're not really pressing things forward because there's still some unsettled business that's going on between them and a karmic situation. Okay. So let's see what else. So yeah, they're taking their time for some, maybe you're dealing with an earth sign and they're looking at their options for you. I just see that maybe you lost hope because you're in your head. You're trying to figure out, you know, should you wait on this one? You know, um, this person is, is really taking their sweet time. And for some, uh, they're actually here at a distance from you. Uh, so how are they feeling? They feel as if, you know, they need to, uh, really, um, really, uh, like, I don't know, do some research because whoever the karmic person is has cut them off. Now, this could be you. Okay, so for some of my Libras, if you're watching this, uh, I feel like maybe you actually cut this person off and you're not really talking too much to this person. This person is really curious about what you're up to. So it's like tit for tat almost. Okay, and with your energy, I see here death. So you're going through like some sort of change because uh, the thing is, is that normally you wouldn't be uh, a little bit cold, 
you know, towards this person of interest, but um, I see that you're trying to change. Maybe it's because you've been a certain way towards this person, um, but it just seems like, you know, no matter how, you know, you uh, portray yourself towards them, you know, they just take forever. Okay. That must be for somebody. And, you know, it could be a Virgo. Okay. I see her Leo energy and we have here judgment. So they are definitely thinking that they just need time. They need uh, to have the courage to work through their own BS. Okay. If it wasn't for that uh, older woman, uh, then they would have uh, been in a state of chaos is what I'm hearing. Now for you, you're trying not to uh, judge your person, but you can't help yourself but to, to go there, right? And to think about the obvious. Um, maybe, you know, you're just afraid of... Um, the gossip that you might be hearing about this person over here. But in the meanwhile, see that they're actually alone. So if you feel like, okay, let's say that your person is actually dealing with a karmic person, I would say no, that is not the case. Um, they're actually by themselves. Okay. You might uh, like get to thinking that it's one thing, but the spirit is saying, hold, hold your thought. Okay. It's not that bad. Okay, don't even don't even go there. So in the outcome, so they're trying to defend themselves. Okay, and they kind of look guilty, no lie, um, because I see that they're running from a situation, and you feel left out. But get this, your person is running towards you. So they're trying to figure out how they can make their approach towards you. But first, they have to deal with uh, all these people. So yeah, I see here the sun. So things will actually look really good. Okay. They will come. They will make peace with you. Okay. You just have to do you. So Libra, um, if this is resonating with you so far, what I would recommend is that don't really stress about what your person is doing. Really focus more on yourself because the more that you focus on this person, you're actually hurting yourself. I see that they are uh, moving their way towards you. There is a karmic energy, but I feel like, okay, if you watch my twin flame reading from yesterday and you're a twin watching this, you know, for the sign of Libra, I would say it's a continuation from yesterday's energy into this uh, reading, okay? Because this person really thinks that the world of you. Okay. You make them happy. You make them feel young. Um, you, you make them, uh, like do things that they would normally not do, but I see that they will come towards you. It just will take time. Okay. That's what I have. So, uh, let's see, what are the messages so that your person like to say? What are the messages? Please spare it. That your person like to say, Wow, and all of the cards are falling to the floor here. Interesting. So you are always on my mind. So, I mean, you have never really left uh, their thoughts. And I want you. I want you in my life. I see you as my future. So they definitely want you, okay? And I never knew what love was until I met you. So perhaps, you know, they know who you are. They do want to be with you. Okay, you're always, they're always thinking of you. However, they may not be with you 100%. And I feel like there's some sort of like distance here between the two of you. If that's true, okay, towards your situation, I would say just, I don't know, do your thing, like, you know, work on your work, focus on that, because eventually this person will come through. Okay, it's just, it's not like, you know, with the snap of the fingers and, um, you know, they're there. Um, not yet. Okay. <laughs> but they will come. I, I definitely do see that. So you just have to be patient. So spirit, can you please reveal to me, uh, what is uh, the guidance that you have? What is the guidance message? Yeah. Surrender to low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. So do you not feel good because this person isn't coming to you right away? You know, or, you know, and I, I know maybe for some you've waited on this person for such a long time and they never seem to come around. Okay. I see that there's clearly signs here that, 
you know, they're always thinking of you, you know, they want you, um, they really uh, feel that they love you, okay, they just don't feel good enough to be with you right now, okay, or maybe this is spirit saying that this is you, Libra, that you don't feel good enough right now, so again, focus on your independence, focus on, like, you, okay, and then when, when the time comes, they will, okay, that's what I see, so, that's what I have. It's actually um, an, a good reading. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <music>